What's up everybody, Shauna D. Man here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead Episode 2, Suffer Children. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, sorry, I went too far. Uh, obviously, I, you know what, I'll do a preview I think. For those of you who did not watch Previously the first episode. on The Walking Dead. Yeah, here we go. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin, the leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. Felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to risk it. So I let him take some of the food and leave. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. <laughs> yeah, no, that was wild. Brody backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then, Marlin was dead. Yeah. And AJ pulled the trigger. Yeah, that was wild. That caught me off guard. To save the last bullet for himself. No oh, man, I tell you what the the first the first episode, the first two parts of episode one that we did was just wow. <clears throat> I was kind of expecting to have to have a little blood on it. made you some coffee oh. it was in the kitchen tin said that i can have some i didn't steal it how do you know how to make coffee well probably at some point you learned i'm surprised you remember how to make it we haven't had coffee in a long time you put it in hot water you're right thanks last night with marlin I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead! The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Taught him how to survive. Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he oh, killed that's tough. Lies. That's tough. Clem, please just tell me. Oh my God, those choices are not if I'm good. If a murderer, I, I should know, right? So, so that I can try not to be your. Oh, but was it just? 
I don't know. No. This will be hard to hear. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. Even if they were bad? Even, Even if they were bad. It was wrong. What are we gonna do? Next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like. Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. No, he wouldn't do that. He'd never hurt any of you. It was Marlin threatened us. AJ pointed the gun first. We get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? Oh, AJ. No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Oh, AJ. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. Um, I mean, it depends on the like monster. Murderers try to make it right. That's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> I wonder God how long this episode is going to be this. because the first episode, I was like Save well over two wreck, hours. And you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? <laughs> Screw both of you. Mitch, okay. Settle down, partner. I mean, to be fair, hey, yes, Marlin was. He did. He did. You've killed a lot of people. Surrender himself. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. Lee so, was already gone, though. That means you murdered him. God dang. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. God he dang, AJ. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Is there a difference? I love you back. Compared to I love you too. Or that they just basically the same thing. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right though. Yeah? I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. Oh, AJ. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules. About who was innocent, who was guilty. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. 
I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But Listen, at least a couple of minutes in, later? and AJ's Together? already, like, sure. breaking my heart. After the funeral. He's, like, they buried on the, the ball with stuff. Vile started soon. See you out there. is gonna be hard everyone's going to be upset we need to show them we care okay okay <clears throat> all right let's see <clears throat> all right uh is there anything here that's flowers the pictures Okay, no, there's pretty much nothing else. All right, let's go. Ready? Oh, this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> AJ is shaped by what you teach him. Okay. But to be fair, some of those, some of those, you taught him to regret his. Act. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, does Marlon really deserve a grave after you really find out that, you know, he gave away ten sisters, you know? Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlon... Just leave them alone. <coughs> Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. Even monsters. Ten, you ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach, so I drew it for you. Oh, ten. Marlin was. I can't, not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... you didn't even like Brody. You were always mean to her. Baby, they shut your mouth. I mean, she has I a can't. point. Someone else do it. Bitch. Uh. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. They just killed him like it was nothing. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Y'all are being such jerks right now. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. 
She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Whatever happened before, AJ shouldn't have killed Marlin. Yeah, he wasn't hurting anybody when I killed him. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Oh my god. They take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I think it's that's... bullshit. You know what? I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem, you heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to it's, settle it's, this. So I mean, it's... Forever. That's fair. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Uh, that's fair. I'm not gonna Louis beg to, to stay here. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Just leave her there for now. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. I ain't gonna beg to stay. Come on, let's go. There's two sides to this, okay? Yes, AJ probably shouldn't have killed Marlin. However, you just... These, these group of friends he had just found out that he, number one, gave away ten sisters to some raiders for, I guess, his own protection or, or something. I don't, know, I don't remember. And then second, he killed Brody. Are we just forgetting that all of a sudden? Not only that, he locked Clem in the basement Sometimes with a zombified Brody. Is taking me. That's what I was just like. You can't. Sometimes you can be mad at AJ, but also be mad at Marty. You can't act like Marty is some saint. Because that's not how that's not how that works. He did terrible things. Now whether he did that for his own protection or the protection of the group. I mean, that's, a, that's a, a different question, but he still, he still did something like that. I wonder if the, I wonder if the sisters are alive then. AJ. <gasps> AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. <clears throat> Come here, sit down. No. <laughs> it didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad, and you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know, you're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work?
We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't it's know. still the right thing to do. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <coughs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not going to fight it at all? Emily. What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it. If we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Dang. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? <clears throat> Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ's in dangerous too. <sighs> we'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them! AJ. It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. <laughs> AJ. Get him under control. <laughs> AJ, breathe. <sighs> Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. We've got to earn their trust. I'm walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. What? We already know he knows how to use it. Let's just... It's okay. Give it to him. Show yeah, him that... You can have it. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just show that, hey, we'll, we'll cooperate. I hope that doesn't come back and bite me, though. I had to at least show him that, you know, we can we'll cooperate and won't cause any trouble. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. Shut up. I mean, you've done this before. <laughs> you just make it. Oh Probably my god. Pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. 
You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. He still- just you can't just ignore safe. what he did. Both of you. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Thanks. Right. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. couple of you on the road. Uh -oh. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yeah. Yes. The one Brody was scared of. Why is he yes. out here? Stay here. Aim. <laughs> Why are you out here? Tough little bitch, aren't you? Just walk away and we'll let you go. Come on. <laughs> How are you just gonna hit her like that? Wooden boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. God damn! Don't. I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. <sighs> He's dead. Shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Who is not this a lot person? of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Uh, uh, oh, God. Wait. Oh my God. 
Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Wait. It's been a while. <gasps> Lily? Wait, isn't that... She's from the first season. Isn't she the one that shot... I thought you died. I... Came close. What the hell? Not now. She's the one that the shot... Is this? I said, not now. No, you hit me. I don't want your help. Oh my god. So she's alive? Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. You better watch your mouth. Same thing will happen to you. If you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer. But eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. <clears throat> but we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, oh, God. you won't pick them. No, you don't. Come on. Oh, AJ, AJ. You okay, buddy? Okay, here we go. Probably some quick time events. Yeah. Uh, there's one right there. 
Oh, dude, how did I not see you? I looked over there, I didn't see you. Let's go, come on, come on. Fine, buddy. Hang in there. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. She's just gonna pat you off. It's enough for now. Who is this guy? Oh, 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 easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. It sucks. Hmm. 
I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. Mm. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Are you talking about like oh, does it hurt? Rick's group from the show? Hungry. I haven't watched Walking Dead in years, so I'm pretty much behind on all that. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. <sighs> Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I hardly know anything about them. You know they attacked you. They'll attack again. Yeah, they said as much. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Okay, I'll try it your way. Thank you. It's difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. Interesting. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. 
The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. Not without help. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back, past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Uh. <sighs> okay. I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Good night. Well, that's pretty s somber. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Oh, there's a school of sort of about right there anyway. Don't go too far, James. Hurt. Hang on. We're almost there. Walker! Violet! Lewis! They came back! Thanks, James. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. She must be like I really can't exhausted. Keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. What are you, a nurse? I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. 
Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we push, we push through it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. I love AJ. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? You know, I, mean, I had always horrible. wondered what she happened. She always has been. After, her dad was a racist uh, asshole, and she defended everything he did. Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. And you don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. <clears throat> it's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. Okay. Uh, start. We've got good strong walls. 
We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Okay. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Uh, is there anywhere else? No. Okay, so it's just this. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Mitch, so Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Oh my god. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. I don't want any. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Someone's got to. Since no one else stepped the fuck up. Yeah, These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Always be okay. I... It's okay. Don't, don't, don't beat yourself up over it, buddy. <clears throat> oh, man. I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Mitch, make yourself useful. Standing around there skulking like that. The heck's wrong with you? <coughs> Alright, let's take a look around real quick. Oh, here we go. What's this? There's a collectible. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. You're they make terrible the noises then, when maybe? they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Alright, so we got that. Alright, let's go around. I ain't talking to me. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. <laughs> there's this ladder. That window. I bet we can get in there. 
Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Nope. Thanks. I ain't got Plan. time for this BS. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. I mean, you would know if there was one inside because you would hear it, wouldn't you? Oh. We're good. Not bad. I'm glad I can impress you. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. She knows her plants. That's useful. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. That's good. All right, let's. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. Okay. Thank you, Mitch. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Okay, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Oh, that could be useful. Cheers. Uh. Yes! Dibs. Yeah, let him have it. We got the we got the pry bar, so. Which we'll probably use to open this thing here. Wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Huh? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. <laughs> he used to blow shit up. Oh. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. But I said the we demolition expert over here. something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. That could be useful, but also pretty dangerous. All right, let's see. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. All right, there we go.
Okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. We're fine, we're good. Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. She looks. You can barely recognize her. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Man, that was wild. All right, what we got? Test tubes. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. You drink it then. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. Somebody's excited. Hmm. I have to see that alive. Well, I don't know. I'm not a plane expert, so I wouldn't really know. Yeah, I wouldn't know what this is. I mean, it's a formula. I know that, but definitely out of my league. Let's just go ahead and <sighs> let's hope there's gas in it. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, perfect. Here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. 
I'm not wasting my energy on that Mitch, thing. Mitch, swear to God. Give me one second, everybody. Just gotta grab something. I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Sorry about that. Back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll okay. be happy here. Sorry about that. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Oh. What are you going to tell him? Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I, I should go. Like, I get, I get it. He, he was your best friend and all that I'm stuff, but he did some pretty anymore. terrible stuff, too. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way, why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice. I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. Okay. How was that? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I saw something else over at the. Nice. Okay. Wait, what did it say? Okay, okay. Uh. uh let's see. Huh. Let's explore. Let's see. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Hey, look! 
It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Hmm. This one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Okay. I thought, I thought it could maybe go out, but... Okay, alright. Let's go Good to sleep, Dan. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> bang. It was a fast night. He's been sleeping a lot. Two weeks later. AJ? Where are you? Uh oh. It's like a nightmare? Yeah, this is something. This is trippy. You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. 
Crash like Spider Man over there. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work to atone me. <sighs> I'm gonna help you more so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people, monsters, whatever you have nightmares about. Absolutely not. It's dark out there. Um, uh, actually, I'm kind of tired. I'd, uh, uh kind of rather stay. <laughs> yeah, I figured. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah, come on up. Oh. I'm not scared, just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 